Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a mailbag time video and I do apologize about my voice. It's kind of gone. Uh, yesterday I went to a Britney Spears concert and I just didn't. I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. <laughs> so yeah, my voice is gone. I don't know why it's gone. Hopefully I'm not going to get sick. But anyways, let's get started. So uh, this package was actually lost or these are actually two packages. One of them was gone for forever. It took like a month to get to me for some reason. Lately things have been starting to be get to me slower I don't know why but anyways let's get started so I picked up a couple frames I picked up the QAV 250 also known as the blackout frame this is like the ultimate frame ever it's a six inch frame this is one of the first you know uh, frames that was really I think mass made for for our drone community it's, it's pretty sick I had two that I completely wrecked and I really do miss it however this frame it's not the best flying frame, it's very inefficient and you can hear it from the motors, but the sound that it creates in the air is like a, a fucking dragon. It's insane in the air and I really love it. So that's why I picked up another one. I really want to make a build and um, I'm going to make like a little nice, you know, old school build, you know, like a Razor Star motor. I've had one of those, some Razor Star ESCs and SPF3, but now, you know, the F3 flight controllers are pretty dead and... Um, it's really not recommended to update them at least um, so uh, the F3 flight controllers are basically like an iPhone 4 now kind of you know just Apple keeps releasing updates it just ruins their phones anyway so we got that in and if you could tell we got the FR Sky X Lite this was provided to me by Banggood thank you Banggood so much and uh, we're gonna be going ahead and checking it out however it does not come with batteries so I might do a little battery mod so I can get started because I'm not gonna wait another month to get batteries so I can start on it so there's a couple cool ideas I have with this one, and um, it looks pretty good, but I can't really say anything until we, I'm probably going to hook it up to the simulator first and we do my first overview, uh, because lately, to be honest, I've been getting very sick of my Horus X10. It's beautiful. It works perfect. I don't have any issues, but it's huge, and it's bulky, and I'm not a pincher, and it's just, um, it's really not practical for me, to be honest, even though it looks absolutely sexy and stunning. But it's just, it's too much. I really, like, I've been using it a lot lately because I transitioned from the QX7. And I find it to be a bit too much, at least for me. And it's it's freaking heavy. So sometimes if I forget the lanyard to hold it, um, it's just, I don't know. Anyways, let's move on. We'll come back to this in a little bit. I got a couple other frames other than the QAV250 there. Uh, I have this one. It's called the STP something. It's the ZX235. So it's 235 millimeter. It's, called, it's a long X. So I'm guessing it's a stretch X. So we're going to check this out. Also got one from Awesome, but I got these so long ago that I forgot what the hell I got. I haven't picked up frames in a while. It's just, I don't know, I just had too many anyways. So let's just check here. <clears throat> it's pretty basic. I mean, it comes with everything, obviously, like it should. Oh, and it comes with 3D printed parts for the camera. I'll leave a link to everything down below so you can see what I got here. And uh, yeah, the, the two things that I'm really, really, really interested about, other than the FR Sky, is this thing here. It's called the... TW65 Tiny Woo Hoover, Woo Hoover. So these are like little hovercrafts that are made out of drone parts. And this is a complete kit. It's called the Advanced Edition from Banggood. And um, it's pretty sick, like really nice. Uh, it comes with everything. You know, you have your B core, you have your you know flight controller, you have your charger, it comes with a battery, I think one battery. So it's a happy model battery. And um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. I really can't wait. We're going to build this and just fly it around. Uh, this is really fun. Well, I'm seeing it online. I really did like it. And um, I think, what do they do here? They give us two. This this is kind of weird because I don't understand. Well, I don't know. We're going to have to see this because that's two basically frames for a drone. This is supposed to be a hoverbot. So we'll see what's up with that. Um, this is FR Sky. I got the FR Sky Advanced version. I'll leave a link to this down below. I can't wait for this. And I also picked up another one, but I don't know what the hell it really came with. And it just came with these foam paddings. So, or maybe those two come together. I have no idea. I don't remember. I have to check the order again. So let's take a look at the FR Sky X Lite. Um, it's really a shame that it doesn't come with batteries. And um, that really just a little bit upsets me uh, out of the box. And I think it's going to upset a lot of people. But, you know, to have it sent without batteries, then being unable for it to enter your country, I think it's still a lot better. Um, I don't know what the hell's up with everyone in batteries lately. 
So let's take a look at this. So first of all, the packaging is very good. Um, it's really, I think, unlikely to have damage uh, through shipping with the, with the type of packaging they've set it up in. It's very nice. I really like this foam thingy here. They give you these little gimbal protectors, very nice little plastic lo thingy looking majiggers. And uh, I got the black one. If I had to choose, I would have gotten the, uh, the red one, but it's okay. Um, so let's take a look here. Overall, it feels very nice to the hand. It actually... The gimbals feel very good. That's one thing. I really do like that. So the gimbals do feel really good. Uh, better than the, what is it? Uh, what is it? The Evolution. I have I stopped using that one. The gimbals are terrible. And if you can tell, the switches are super, super tiny. Look at this. This is just crazy. So, and they do give you, I think, these rubber grommets. We're going to do a full playlist of this stuff here. So I think these little rubber thingies that you could pull off and see whatever one you like. And then I guess you could use them for here, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, the overall look and feel, it feels premium. These little buttons, the way they're laid out, they kind of make it feel like it's a like a Super Nintendo controller here. But who really cares? You don't. You're not even looking at this. It does have a speaker, Open TX. It does have SD card expansion, and it takes a USB, uh, the, the micro USB here. And this is to flash your receivers. So, for example, I got the FCC version, which is I think the US version for some reason. But yeah, if I had a Receiver that was European, I would go ahead and connect it here and flash it to work with this guy. So that's very nice. I don't know if the auxiliary works, I have to look into it, and obviously the SD card expansion. So, this thing here, okay? Um, I do have a uh, TBS Crossfire. <clears throat> and when I was looking at this, I'm thinking of designing a 3D printed module that connects here. Uh, through these little slits that they have already basically have in here and to hijack these little guys with little pin headers or something and then to enable you to run Crossfire very comfortably. Now, I don't know when that'll be, but that is a must do on my channel, which I'll be looking forward to. But however, I will be doing complete playlist of a setup. And as you can tell already, there's no mode one and mode two. They're all center automatically. So I'm going to have to change mine to mode 2, which means this would be the throttle, so I'd have to disable the little spring that's putting it back in the middle. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to do that. So we do have two sliders in the back. Uh, it really feels nice. Like, just the first overall uh, view. Like, lately when, when, the, when the final pictures came out and I was looking at it, I was like, ah, it looks kind of cheap. Um, but overall, the plastic feels really good. This plastic kind of feels like the Iomways plastic here. Uh, that same feeling, I really like. It. It's like rubbery, plasticky feeling. So it's very good. It feels really premium, actually. And it just fits beautiful. Oh my god, look at this. Full deflection, no problem. If you're a thumber, um, I, I don't know. I can't really answer that for you. Depending, yeah, it's gonna, your hand's gonna pinch, so you might need longer ones here. Maybe you could extend them, I don't know, but we'll figure it out later. So right now I'm thinking of doing some kind of battery mod, uh, where we could just use, um, oh, so it's using hex screws. It's actually a mix of, oh no, it's not, what the hell is that? Yeah, it's a hex, and Phillips. And a couple holes with no screws. So this is kind of weird, I have a screw here, a screw here, a screw there and a screw there and then I don't have a screw here or here so I don't know what's up with that maybe when we take it apart we can see why that is um, but yeah these two are Phillips and then these two are hex screws I don't know what size just yet maybe we could check it out uh, because the next video is gonna be me taking this guy apart and I think it's a two the two millimeter size yeah it's two why is it so loose oh that's crazy are you serious? Oh, what? That's awesome. Okay, so those screws on the on those actually wow. So these screws stiffen the gimbal here to your liking. As you can tell, it's not bouncing anymore up and down. And then, but what about that one? There isn't one for that one, for this side. I think that's crazy. Let me see what happens here then. Maybe I just don't see it. No, there's nothing there. Let's see this one. I'm going to tighten it down. See what happens. No, it didn't do anything. Oh, yeah, it is. Look at it. Can you see now? Now it's super tight. So if you tighten it, uh, this will be where once we set it up. So as you can tell, see, it's not going back like this one. That's crazy. I really like that. So that's really nice. 
So that's ease of access. So if you, for some reason, you're just not liking how it feels, you don't even have to take this guy apart. Just grab your two millimeter, loosen or tighten as you please. So I'm going to loosen these right now until I do the mod. See, now they're both loose again. So that, that, that's really cool. I really like this so far. I wish the screen was a little bit bigger, but I really don't care right now. Um, we'll see how it is in the field and also on the simulator. I can't wait to connect this to the simulator. I don't know if I could actually... Let's see if we can give it power and it'll actually turn on. So I'm very curious to see that. Oh, let's see what happens. Can we turn this guy on with just a USB? I think we can. I saw a little power. Let's see again. It tries to boot, but I don't think the USB is providing enough current. Um, so yeah, let me see. Hold on, let me see this one real quick. I do have a Samsung fast charger. So. Yeah, it's not gonna boot. It's not gonna boot off USB alone. So we're gonna have to take this guy apart. I don't know how to remove this just yet, but I will make a separate video, which will be. This seems like it'll pull down or something here. So yeah, it feels like it. I'll double check that right now. All right. So overall, you know, this is a little mailbag time, and um, some of the things expected. The video of this guy I think might come right next after it, and then we're gonna be building this little woover here, which is super awesome. I can't wait to play with that around the shop. Uh, just for a rainy days, they just you know just go ahead and just fly around the floor basically. So so far it looks nice, feels very good in the hand. It seems good quality. I really do like it. I might do the final transition. However, you know I think what I'll do is I'll do like a shootout between a QX7, uh, this one, and the Horus X10 on a simulator, and then trying different maneuvers and just trying to feel it. What what is it best for? For a thumber, I'm not a pincher, so if you're a thumber, then I think you might get some useful information. If not, then um, I don't know what to tell you. So yeah, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time. See you guys. Take care.